Our film today is an American action thriller released in 2020 and called Honest Thief. We are quickly introduced to our protagonist, Tom Dolan, a former U.S. Marine and demolitions expert, and now a professional bank robber. The news outlets tell us about a man who utilizes expert methods to slip into areas, then detonate safes. He has stolen millions of dollars from multiple banks and is yet to be caught. The reporters say that he leaves no traces or evidence behind, so the police have no leads. As he moves to a new town near Boston, he makes his way to a storage unit facility, but can't find any clerks there, despite shouting for assistance a few times. Tom snoops around the front desk and finds psychology books with extensive notes and papers. Suddenly, the receptionist, Annie Wilkins, appears to offer him help. The duo immediately flirts and discusses their interests. The movie skips to one year later, and we discover that Tom and Annie have an ongoing relationship and they have developed strong feelings for each other. Tonight, Tom unlocked the back door to a house for rent and invited Annie here on a date. He surprises her by asking her to move in, because he wants to start a new life with her. Annie is hesitant, because her last marriage ended in divorce, but Tom promises her that they'll be together for a long time. Tom wants to tell Annie another secret, but she has had enough surprises for one night. Elsewhere, we are introduced to FBI agents Sean Myers and Sam Baker, who seem to be struggling with their personal lives. Tom makes the startling decision to go to Annie and confess to his misdeeds, because he wants to begin a fresh life with her. He phones the FBI headquarters and announces himself as the in and out bandit to Agent Sam Baker. This is the moniker that the press gave him following his crimes. He informs Sam that he wants to surrender and is prepared to return all the money in exchange for a lower prison term. Sam asks Tom why he made the decision, and Tom replies that he is in love with a lady and wants to be open about it before continuing their engagement. Sam refuses to trust him and points out that other individuals have already claimed to be the in and out bandit, but he decides to see him in order to look into the matter further. Following the call, Sam talks about the case with his friend, Agent Myers, and gives John Nivens and Roman Halls the information, asking them to go see Tom in his hotel. He recounts the same story when Hall and John arrive to see him, but none of them believe him, because the police never discovered any proof. To support his claim, Tom describes how he targeted small-town banks with outdated vault and security systems. He also admits that he always located an empty building exactly next to the bank and made his way through the AC duct, directly into the bank's vault, where he utilized his past experience to blow up the vaults, as he is an ex-marine demolition specialist. Before continuing with his transaction, Tom turns over the keys to his locker where they can locate the money, when they ask for verification of the money he claims to have. As John and Hall go to the locker, they discover the money in a storage box, but John changes his mind and decides to keep it for himself. Hall, a law-abiding man, first disagrees with him, but John persuades him by telling him that the money may be a huge assistance for him and his family. John assures Hall that no one would believe him, since he has no proof, when Hall inquires about Tom. Annie approaches them as they hide the cash in the car, after spotting them on the surveillance camera, but they present themselves as Tom's friends and explain that he asked them to pick up some items for him. She goes without asking any further questions, pleased with the explanation. As they get back to Tom's hotel room, they inform him where they found the money. John puts a gun at him and asks him to keep the information hidden, but Tom discloses that there were only $3 million in the storage, and he retained the remaining $6 million as a negotiation tactic. Meanwhile, Sam Backer arrives at the hotel and enters the room, interrupting the conversation. He attempts to warn him about John, but John shoots him before he can do anything. Tom begins battling him, and they both leap out of the window, where Annie, who had just arrived to see Tom, notices them. Once they begin pursuing him, Tom instantly gets into the car with her and informs her that the FBI is chasing him. Hall catches up with John and argues with him once more about making the mess, but John is certain that he will retain the money. As soon as they do, they discover Tom's car is vacant, since he and Annie have concealed it in another vehicle in the parking lot. As Tom feels secure once more, he tells her about his thefts and admits he's always wanted to tell her, but hasn't had the nerve. He defends himself by stating that he is no longer a robber, when she challenges him for taking money. She also claims that he has harmed individuals, but he says it's a crazy claim and he's innocent. Tom explains to her his motivation for stealing from the banks by stating that his mother passed away from pneumonia when he was a marine. Following that, his father lost focus at work and was sacked. 
The CEO of the firm mismanaged the assets and refused to pay his pension money, but his father lacked the cash to engage a lawyer and, having exhausted all other options, committed suicide. Tom robbed his first bank, where the CEO used to keep his money, after going through all of this, and later became a professional because he enjoyed the rush. He admits that he now wants to leave his job before beginning a new life with her. Agent Myers begins looking into Becker's demise while Annie and Tom talk about the problem. Myers promises Becker that he will track down the person who eliminated him. In the meantime, Annie informs him about meeting those men at the storage facility earlier. He informs her that they murdered their co-worker, but he is confident that they would blame him for the crime and that no one in the FBI would take him seriously, since they won't go against their own agent. When Myers questions John and Hall, they admit that Tom is the one who finished off Becker and then fled the scene with a lady. He inquires more about the storage facility, but John informs him that Tom misled them and that they did not locate any money there. Tom requests that Annie leave the city and get into a hotel until everything is finished, since he knows the agents will keep hunting him down. Despite Tom's assurances that he will soon join her, she hesitates to go, since she does not want him to be in this predicament alone. After bidding her farewell, Tom begins looking for John's location, while Myers informs his team that they have fingerprint evidence from Tom's hotel room. He claims that all of his prior records are clean and that he has never been connected to a crime. Myers discovers the information about Annie and requests that they track her down. In the meantime, Annie phones Tom and informs him that she stayed in the city and returned to her place of employment, where she discovered the surveillance tape showing John and Hall removing boxes from the storage. Tom worries about her and begs her to go right away, but John shows up there before she has a chance. Tom borrows a van from a food delivery man and hurries to aid her when he realizes how desperate the situation is, but John has already begun looking into her. She is accused of being Tom's collaborator, and he demands the memory card containing the video. She attempts to resist him without saying anything, but he knocks her to the ground. When Hall, who had been waiting for John in the car, sees him beating Annie, he enters the house and discovers Annie unconscious on the floor. Hall intervenes to stop John from putting her down as well. He feels for her pulse and tells John she has passed away, ordering him to leave. In a little while, Tom shows up and drives her to the closest hospital, but he flees before the cops can catch up with him. He phones the FBI and requests to speak with John. He charges him with stealing money and harming Annie, but John refutes the charges, since he knows Myers will be listening. When Myers phones John to let him know that Annie would be in the hospital, John realizes that Hall lied to him about her condition. When a policeman sees Tom on the street, he tells John and Hall about him. When they try to pursue him once again, Tom deliberately hits their car and flees. Myers quickly catches him and starts beating him up, accusing him of murdering his friend, but Tom refutes this. He raises a weapon and informs Myers that John eliminated Becker, and injured Annie as well, since she had information against him. Along with giving Myers Hall's pistol, which he had previously taken from him in the hotel room, he also promises to find out the truth. John intends to murder Annie himself in the meanwhile, after asking Hall to do so, but Myers is in Annie's room and prevents him from having the chance. Myers summons John to his office and inquires as to why Tom is pointing the finger at him, as well as concerning Tom's previous chat in which he accused him of stealing money, but John denies doing so and says there was no money. Myers returns the rifle he retrieved from Tom, but says nothing to him when Hall joins the conversation. During the encounter, Hall inquires about John's next plans, and he threatens to harm his family if he does not remain on his side. Hall can't get his mind off their immoral behavior, since it goes against his nature. Fearful of the repercussions, he promises his wife that everything he did was only to provide a better life for his family. The following evening, Tom storms into his home and assaults him. Tom reassures Hall that he is simply a thief and not a murderer, despite Hall's assumption that he must be there to harm him. He acknowledges his error and admits that he is aware that Hall did not want to participate in John's scheme. Tom requests that he establish his innocence in the matter. In addition to offering to assist him, Hall reveals that he possesses the surveillance footage that he stole from Annie's pocket. He also exposes John's intention of wanting to take her out and urges Tom to transport her to a safe area, so he takes her to the hotel with him. Later, Tom phones Myers to let him know he's going to bring Annie along, but he reassures him that she isn't engaged in any of his crimes. Myers offers his whole assistance in Tom's search for proof, but Tom declines, claiming he will handle things on his own. While Annie is healing from her wounds, 
Tom sets up the explosive and places it in John's home. Tom contacts John and begs him to confess to the crime, but John refuses, so Tom blows up his house as John is about to leave. John makes fun of him for not being able to finish him, but Tom explains that wasn't the plan. Instead, he only wants a confession from John, which John refuses to provide. Paul agrees to see John, when John contacts him after reaching a safe house, to tell him about the incident. To demonstrate that Tom wasn't lying, Annie brings Myers to the storage facility, where she provides him with the surveillance footage and displays the remaining cash. Tom admits that he provided John with the surveillance film, as Tom and Hall come to see John. Hall challenges him, but he shoots Hall and makes off with the cash. Tom contacts John and tells him there is a bomb beneath his vehicle seat while he is drying off. He informs him that because the device is pressure sensitive, he should remain in the vehicle and wait for the bomb squad to arrive to rescue him. After ending the conversation, they find a tape of John confessing to shooting Becker on Hall's body. When John is rescued by Myers and the bomb squad, an officer informs him that Tom lied about the device and that it is worthless. Myers realizes Tom was speaking the truth and commands his crew to arrest him, while also recovering the cash from his car. He also receives a recording device once he gets back to his office, demonstrating Tom's innocence in the matter. As soon as Myers arrives to see Annie, she asks him to take it easy on Tom and he promises to do his best. Tom calls him and then appears out of a truck and fulfills his obligation by turning himself in, thus repenting for his crimes. 